Everyone watching this has a brain, and all of our brains function in similar ways when it comes to learning. The following is a formula that any instructor can use every day to enhance the learning experience for their students, and this formula provides the research foundation for what I call the McCammon method of teaching. So here are six practical brain-based strategies that any teacher can use tomorrow to increase retention of information while giving all learners a chance to improve their communication and collaboration skills. Brain research suggests that students should receive information in short segments. This increases the student's ability to focus on the content and is great for addressing learners with limited attention spans. Video lectures are ideal for delivering these short segments. They ensure an exact length and keep the teacher from being distracted by cognitive interruptions that happen frequently during live lecture. They also ensure that the content is consistent for all students and that the information is fully covered in every lesson. Finally, the video lectures can be extremely concise and efficient. They can be 60 to 80% shorter than live lectures covering the same information. Students should immediately use the content after each segment. After each chunk of content is delivered, we can challenge students to discuss the information, putting it in their own words. They should be encouraged to connect it to their life experiences, discuss these connections with peers, and ask clarifying questions. One of the best assignments we can give students after they view each chunk is to simply ask them to teach it back to us. It's a great way to know if they learned what we wanted them to learn. Students should review the content multiple times throughout each lesson. Repetition solidifies the information in the brain. Students receive the content by way of these short video chunks, which they can review again at a later time, and as many times as needed. This creates a self-paced learning resource. The students also repurpose and review the content after each video chunk when they collaborate, discuss, and teach it back. Students should switch tasks early and often. This will constantly refocus student attention and increase engagement. Here's one way to think about doing this. Play a five-minute video segment, then give the students five minutes to collaborate and reteach the segment, spend five minutes recording a few exemplar student lessons, and take another five minutes to watch and discuss the student video presentations. Spending 20 minutes on this active learning experience can be much more impactful than simply lecturing on the same information for 20 minutes while students are passive. Students should develop an emotional connection with the content. A best practice here is to get students to create something showcasing their ideas, fingerprints, and voice, so they own each segment. One of the best and most efficient assignments is to, again, have students teach back the content, having them create and record their version of every lesson. A very powerful strategy for getting students to make an emotional connection to the content is to have them sit in front of a camera and be the teacher, and then afterwards watch their performance on screen. They will experience excitement and cognitive dissonance. This form of reflective practice can be an extremely emotional experience for any learner, and that emotion is tied directly to the content. Finally, students should get up and move as much as possible. Standing and moving around any classroom promotes blood flow to the brain. Movement can increase memory, creativity, attention, and achievement. Here is a best practice. While the collaboration, discussion, and teach-back assignments are going on, students can be put into groups that are required to move around the classroom using whiteboards on the walls to prepare and present their lessons. Just remember, having students of any age sit for long periods of time is not optimal for their learning. So, if tomorrow's lesson plan is that you are going to tell students a bunch of information and hope or expect them to remember, use these strategies instead. Students will retain more of the information, and it will give them a chance to improve their communication and collaboration skills.